have all kinds of different things we're trying to accomplish um, when we're going in and doing the lighting. With the lighting, you're telling, you are describing what the time of day is and what the weather is. And so if you have a really happy scene and you make it a overcast, dreary day, like you're not supporting the story in the right way. And if it's, um, you know, supposed to be a very sad scene and you make it this, you know, sunset or something, this beautiful sunset, like those conflict. So you, so we're setting things up that way, supporting the story kind of with the light, but we're also um, guiding the audience's eyes so they're looking at the right thing. Um, and we're trying to make things look beautiful. Everyone at Pixar almost has to become an, an expert in understanding what's believable. Because if we do something that's not believable, we pull the audience out of the story, which kind of ruins the film. And so, but we also aren't in the business of, of making sort of completely photorealistic, real life looking things. You know, we get to live somewhere in between, which is to me half the fun. And so what we'll do is we'll look at real life, for example, in something like Finding Nemo and you're doing underwater, we look at real footage of underwater. We recreate it in the computer. We figure out what the elements are that make up underwater in our world. We sort of streamline them so you could do them throughout a whole movie. So work on the technology and, and the sort of usability. And then we, we execute it in the film and we understand which of those have to be actually really accurate to the science of the real world and which ones like the color or the visibility in the water you can push and pull to suit the story and so it's something I think that certainly I've gotten much better at in the time I've been there but it's the really important thing when you're kind of recreating worlds in the computer. Thank you.